So with the Kohler engine, if you've ever noticed, we had the Kawasaki and the Subaru forever. They had big fill tubes for the oil. This Kohler engine, if you look at this fill tube right here, they have downsized it and it is a pain to put oil in. And I'm gonna show you a little tip that I have. If you just go to Walmart and get a filter and it has a little downspout about three inches and goes little right there and break that off, this will be the easiest way it seals right in there. You can pour in there and you can leave that funnel. And that is gonna be the easiest way to fill that. On the Kohler engine, we are gonna put 40.5 ounces of oil in it. On your EX1, your Easy Go, you're gonna put 48 ounces of oil in it. And uh, this is where the funnel that I told you about is gonna come in very handy because you can pour everything in there and it will hold it. Otherwise, you're gonna have a mess on the floor. I do love our new Kohler engine. I think it's one of the most advanced engines in the industry. And the app and the dongle that we have to talk to that engine is just, it reminds me of being in a dealership with OEM scanners. It's great. And you didn't spill a drop. If you do do a service on a Kohler, go get you a funnel that you can take the end of it off. Now, there's one other thing I want to tell, talk to you about. There's a lot of uh, Club Car and Easy Go will shy away from this, and I'm going to tell you straightforward. These cars, both cars have an O2 sensor. So when you fire this O2 sensor right here, so when you fire this car up, it takes one minute for the O2 sensor to go into open loop. So when you fire this car up and your easy go, it shoots out so much fuel into that cylinder. So if you don't drive it for a couple minutes, then, and shut it off, it's called, if you don't drive it for a few minutes, it won't burn the excess fuel off the car. So if you're in a situation where you're short tripping, which means that you're going from here, start and stop and start and stop and start and stop. And a lot of maintenance places will do that. Uh, you, the short trip and what will happen after a month or two, you will get all kinds of fuel in the crankcase of the engine. And that happens on every car. So on the O2 sensor vehicles, the EX1, the, the uh, Subaru, the Kohler, you have to drive it for a few minutes. And so the message of the day is, treat your golf cart like your wife. They'll last a long time. Have a good day.